and we're trying to get our talk show back. Then when he came back with, I got you. When my family was up against the wall, Kevin Hart wrote us a check and said, here you go. We're forever grateful for that. When we were able to give it back, we said, brother, we appreciate you with some interest on top because I don't ever want nobody to think like me and my up. husband. Yeah, yeah. So I want to make sure I put that out there. That, that brother really helped us out when we needed to be helped out. Then when he came back with, I got you. I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. He said, I'll executive produce. I'll partner with you. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol and we're trying to get our talk show back. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world, Correct. right? And was then. We got off the phone with Kevin Hart. We called in the mall immediately and said, Kevin Hart said, whatever we want to do, he got us. He's going to partner executive use. They was like, oh, this is incredible because when you put Kevin Hart's name on it, you already know what it is. Correct. Two weeks go by. We get a call from in the mall. In the mall says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So whatever she told y'all, he doesn't want to do anything with her, nothing. You know, he doesn't want any any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed between the two weeks and when, and, and plus he gave you? It sounds like some two-faced type shit is going on here. Kevin Hart is saying one thing to Monique, and then behind closed doors, he's, he wants nothing to do with her. That's what it sounds like to me. And people do that all the time. People do that all the time. It's almost like ghosting someone, right? You'll be like, oh yeah, fantastic date. But then you, you try to call them up. <laughs> they change their number. They, they blank your messages. It always seems like Kevin Hart ghosted Monique. Hey, that's crazy. Any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed between the two weeks and when, and, and plus he gave your check, you gave the money back, then said he would partner with you, executive produce, whatever you need, Mo. Hey, we got you. So what transpired or what do you think transpired between then that two that two week period well soon as we got off the phone and they told us what kevin manager david becky said i called kevin hart immediately i said hey baby we just got off the phone with Endemol, and they said dave becky called them up and said you don't want anything to do with me he said mo that's that's a miscommunication i can tell you right now i said wait a minute are you okay though with this white man calling them up Getting in between our relationship at something you said, he said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. Damn. I've never talked back to Kevin Hart again. Damn. So that's what we're faced with. When you allow somebody to come in between a relationship with a woman that you said, I'm like your mother. That's you said, I'm like these things. I didn't ask you for that. That's crazy. What happened essentially? Did Kevin Hart ghost her? Or was it because of this bloody manager that kind of destroyed the relationship? Because I've heard of stories like that. It's possible that this manager was relaying the wrong information to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was saying he's going to finance her. He's going to produce all our shows. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Then, you know, two years later, he hasn't done any of that.